Anna Michalchuk escaped from her husband Ole, her son Nazariai, and Ukraine, carrying two backpacks a baby carrier. A collaborative bilingual children's book, written Ukraine in Tasmania and Tasmania, and written English, Forest Adventures, is preparing to publish itself. In addition to bilingual storytelling, combining the aspects of Ukraine and its existing house, Ukraine offers folk art and Australian indigenous animals. Before the war in Ukraine, Mrs. Mykalchik stood in Ukrainian folk art and continued to create art shortly after coming to Tasmania. He said that creating and sharing Ukraine in his new home is a point of pride that keeps him connected to his country and culture. A Sanchukit the picture created by M.S. Mykalchik for his father-in-law in Ukraine. Ukrainian art shared a page from the bilingual children's book to the April. Almost every wall is a feast of color paintings created by my culture in the Ukrainian painting style called Sanchikivka. Sanchikivka, a folk art from a village named Sanchikiv, can be found in the houses in Ukraine, otherwise the white one. My culture said, the Ukrainian people are very creative, very talented and everyone wants to be unique. Said, sometimes they put the ornaments of the house by saying, I like this home flowers or green leaves. Three years ago, he began to paint Sanchikivka and suggested to paint within two weeks after arriving in Tasmania. Around Sanchikivka picture by M.S. Mykalchuk. Mrs. Mykalchuk, who left his own art materials Ukraine, bought his skills and a few local materials to gather donations for a close friend Ukraine. I started painting the greeting cards and it was hard to paint each one, Mrs. Mykalchuk said. Creating more was a repulsion for me. I started painting on canvas and I danced the dragon, this is my first work of art in Tasmania. It is very special for me. Combine two cultures the artist will soon be a self-published writer, with the creation of a collaborative bilingual children's book containing the drawings of Sancha Kipka, as well as Australian indigenous animals. A page from Forest Adventures in Ukraine. A translation is also provided to English. Inspired by his four-year-old son Nazaria and other Ukrainian children coming to Australia, the book aims to teach Ukrainian language together with English. Mykalchik said, We are trying to talk at home because we want him to know his own language. Said, The book will be April. Mykalchik wrote and depicted his book in collaboration with Irina Bolshide and Anastasia Ananeva. All three women live in Ukrainian heritage and Tasmania. They met a Ukrainian community meeting. The book for Mrs. Mykalchuk is also an opportunity for mutual learning between the second house and its own country. Interpretation of Sanchikivka as wall art, Sanchikivka paintings can be translated to reveal more S in patterns and negative areas created by the artist. A rooster, splashing fish, snakes and butterflies can only be found in one of the interactive parts of MS My Culture. If you look deeper, you can see another animal stored in this art. Said, I have more than 20 variants for some of my arts. It is great to see people know other things. Many creatures can be found in a single Sanchikivka. My Culture, color can hold symbolism in Sanchikivka. It is for yellow energy, green is the color of nature and life, he said. Blue is a quiet color and provides protection. For the artist, Sanchikivka became a connection to his own country, which he hoped to return one day. Every time I paint, I feel strong connections with family, my land and culture and myself. Said, I feel better when see it in her house, remember my family, when looked at it, remember local land. Mrs. Mykalchik at home in Tasmania.